sisters and brothers, the parable just proclaimed sheds light on the truth that if we do not imitate divine mercy, we run the risk of abusing divine patience in the way we treat each other to our own judgment and condemnation. In today's gospel narrative, my dear friends, a stern warning is given to us. Forgiveness is not an option or a contingency subjected to our discretionary latitude. No, it is more of an exhortation, a fiat directed at our filial obedience. Why? Because dire and gruesome consequences are in store for the unforgiving, as exemplified in the imagery of the mercilessness, the harshness of selling, enslaving the servant and his family for the inability to repay a massive debt to the master. I hope that imagery now is starting to sink in into our consciousness. Our obstinate and arrogant refusal to remit the transgressions of those who in a most vile and detestable manner have hurt and wronged us will redound on us. Kung di ta mo pasaylo nila, mo uli ranato ang maong decision. It will redound to us. Why? Because such disposition, meaning our refusal to forgive, is a shameless declaration that we have never experienced how it is to be forgiven greatly by our God in our lives. Each time we refuse to forgive, that's what we tell people. I have never been forgiven by God, and so I don't know how to forgive you. And we all know that if we say that God has not forgiven us or we have never experienced what it is to be forgiven, then in a way we are also saying that we have not sinned. And we all know it's a lie. Try to pray over the first letter of John, chapter 1, verses 8 to 10. My dear friends, klaruhan tani, unsa magiging forgiveness di ay, kaya usay ang atong kalisdanan sa pagpasaylo na nuka diha sa atong wrong understanding of forgiveness. Lebinag mo ingaw din nga, to forgive is to forget. Oh, I tell you, you cannot forget. I won't forget. No matter how hard I try, I cannot forget. We will always remember the injury committed against us. So, unsa mong gidaining forgiveness? Forgiveness, my dear friends, is not justifying the wrongdoing of the offender. No, it's not forgiveness. Forgiveness is not even denying the injury committed against us. No, that's not forgiveness. That could be amnesia, but never forgiveness. What is forgiveness? Forgiveness, my dear friends, is an intentional choice, an intentional decision not to get even in the hopes to release the other party, the offending party, to release the other person from the pangs of guilt and ourselves also from the burden of revenge. That's forgiveness. We have the right to exact apology and justice because we have been aggrieved, yet we choose not to. That's how powerful 
forgiveness is. Now, each time, my dear friends, we experience being slighted, our, prefer our preferences actually boil down to only two. Unsaman. Number one, hold on to our grudges and allow bitterness to run wild in our lives. That's the first option. Or the second option, we choose to forgive and find peace with God. Makaigsoonan, sige mag ampog our Father in many of our devotions, including the most august sacrament of the altar, the Holy Eucharist, we also pray the Our Father prior to the reception of the of Holy Communion. Kita gipahinumduman sa tumpang nagtigom karon. We are not only hearers; we are supposed to be doers also. Therefore, we are not only to pray the Our Father; we are also supposed to live it out by forgiving one another. Klaro makaina sa our Father. And each time we beg the Lord for the grace to make the gesture of forgiveness, ato hang yu on siya, nga manukad on tanis ato ag yung kasing-kasing. A deep source of grace coming from the highest heavens. A source that will never run dry with His mercy.